Right. Okay. Thanks. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, still playing dangerous golf and talking about Arnold Palmer and Jose Fernandez. So, Jose Fernandez, I mean, such a shockingly shocking loss. I mean, 24 years old. One of the star up and coming players. I mean, and it's almost hard to say he's up and coming at this point. He's three years into a very good career. Um, you would actually, pro a lot of people probably know him best by actually some of the people that are watching this that don't know anything about baseball. I've seen this gif where. A player hits the ball back at the pitcher, and the pitcher just grabs it, and he's like, "Did you catch that?" Oh yeah, I know that's that. him. That's he, him. He's the the one that says, "Did you yeah. catch it?" Well, he's oh. the one that catches it, and he, oh, he's the he's, one that catches he's it. The, yeah, yeah, I did. Oh man, yeah, that's him. Oh, I totally know that. I don't know anything about baseball, but I, I totally know that. Did you catch that? Because that was, I I only know baseball because I I'm in a bar all the time, so I know. And me. Yeah, because I I work at him. In an allowance, shall I see baseball? I'm you're in the sink. <laughs> totally boned right now. I'm gonna get no money for this. Ah, that sucks, man. Uh, the passing away, not me sucking. Well, that <laughs> did suck. Yeah, too. that sucks. Um, so I, I I actually had to ask. I asked somebody at work. I was like, so how did he die? It was like a boat accident. Yeah. Um, there's not a whole lot of details. Um, they had a. I don't know where the pin is. Oh, you're not on that part yet. You, oh. That's the next part. Um, they ha the the um, Coast Guard had a thing about it that later that day, and I missed it because I was working. The details are unknown completely. <laughs> drugs, dr wow, drugs and alcohol are not suspected. I mean, I hate. Fuck it. Oh no. Oh, oh. You, you're still on fire? You just went into a bucket of water. I hate, I mean, it, it sucks that you have to say things like that, but it right. is yeah. part of it. But I mean, that's pretty much, if anytime anybody dies, like, especially like a weird, two, at, weird, at, any type of situation, the first thing anybody wants to know is, was there drugs involved? Well, I think, I think in a way people do that for themselves, because they're like, maybe they can, like, care a little less about it or let it affect him a little well, less and if there was something stupid involved. Right. But I mean, uh, you know, I understand this. I've been seeing this my whole life with any type of like uh, passing away of people. Is people like to they go to weird places. Yeah. Like, it, it takes them out of like their comfort zone or something. Like, Well, I mean, they, they, they fight over who loves them more and stuff and I don't know. It's it sucks, and, and but and it's it's like weird coping mechanisms. It's easier to take yourself out of a terrible situation by kind of like trying to push your way away from right. it. Right, and and it's it, it's one of those things that you also got to kind of have to say that too when somebody wrecks a boat at two o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, and I don't care. I mean, uh, I can't say I don't care, but if I don't really care if they were like completely high. When it happened, if as long as they didn't hurt anybody else, I guess. The the one That's thing I, I said, I, I mean, I can't say I don't care. The one thing it I, still sucks. It's the still one a thing tragedy. that got and me things lead up to tragedies like that, you know, like right. life one, life choices and bad influences. One thing I found me saying today, and I hate that I kept saying it, was it's that, and it, it's like kind of a coping mechanism type deal. Was why was he on a boat? Oh, that's when always, he has to play the next day. Yeah, that's always but he, the thing. He wasn't playing, I, but I've heard that. I've heard that before. Like people expect these uh, these big athletes because it happens when they get hurt too. Right. They expect him to like have zero life. Don't do anything else. And like, it, why wasn't he learning how to be the greatest? You know, blah blah blah. Right. In exactly. The world. And why Why is he hurt right now instead of? And why wasn't he just in the gym his right. entire every moment of his being? And especially with baseball, I mean. It's, uh, and it's a hundred and eighty-two games. Yeah. I, it's which is goes by a lot faster than I mean. Sometimes people want to make it. Oh, baseball season is way too long. Well, they play out out of a seven-day week. Most weeks, they, weeks they play four games at right. very, very, very minimum. Most weeks they play six, 
five to seven games. Almost every week you're playing five to seven games. Right. Well, so it, baseball's it, it, weird though. Where I mean, you got different people pitching each game. Yeah. And unless you're the pitcher, you're not constantly playing. Like you're on a bench. You're standing in an outfield. You're waiting for the ball. I mean, you're really not. You're not doing stuff all well, the time. Well, it's not a super contact sport. So even well, when you're I mean, doing stuff, you're, you're it's more just running. I mean, I mean, the out, so, yeah, yeah, the outfielder's not really doing that much until the ball comes to him. No, no, no. I mean, and then when they're waiting to bat, they ain't doing dick. I mean, they might be the warm up batter, but they're really not doing anything. It's not. Oh, it's me. It's. I mean, I mean, from the from the viewer's point of view. I mean, there's. It seems like there's way too many games, but it's not like football where they're going out there and just destroying themselves every game. Yeah. Like at all times. <laughs> or basketball where the, like, if unless you're a bench player, you're pretty much doing forty minutes of constant, like, and that's just the game. I mean, they have to like do all sorts of warm ups and stuff before, during, right, every freaking day. So, I mean, that's hard, 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 hard work. Okay, so but back to this <laughs> kid. Sad passing of this kid. He, he was 24 years old. He's Which is super young. already been a all-star. I mean, he was, an all, he was an all-star his rookie year. And... I think... Oh! 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 That's going to be another achievement, I'm sure. If it wasn't. This game doles out achievements like crazy. Um, he was named a rookie, I mean, All-Star's first year in the majors. And uh, kids already been hit with some tragedies, too. I mean, he had Tommy John surgery, which is a major, major surgery for pitchers. It's You have torn ligament in your elbow, and lots of pitchers never come back to be the same. He comes back this – he had it – Two seasons ago, you're out a full year, and then your next year is even. I, I thought it was. I hit it. Just keep hitting the button until it's. Um, so this was kind of first year back healthy, and he was right. having a great year. He's with the Marlins organization, which is a good organization, but not a good team. And well, they I mean, were they were making what, Miami. Yeah, yeah, Miami. They were making some nothing, head. Nothing good about Miami sports. They were making. <laughs> They were making some headways. Like, they were definitely in the next few years, he really had a chance to be great. We're having a burger off. we got to hit four hamburgers on the table. I don't know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, no, so, cool story. So, last night, the night, the day of his death, they canceled the game. They're out of contention. The season ends in a couple of weeks. Right. Both teams have nothing Is it to play for. already that time of the year? Yeah. Jesus. Two weeks. Two, we'll do our baseball episode in, like, two weeks. Yeah. Um, Miami Marlins and Braves both have nothing to play for, so they just canceled the game. That's weird. Can yeah. you imagine them doing that in basketball? Just say, yeah, you guys, we're going to cancel this game. I mean, they've done it before with the two Dude. stuff. I bet I've been I'm not just like, we're out of contention and we suck. We're going <laughs> to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just but, cancel the game. Well, the thing is, if they did that, uh, half the season for many teams would be canceled. Right. <laughs> um, the Lakers just canceled so, so, Kobe's final year, like... In, in in January, They're like you know what we're we're done. Kobe's so, retired. Go home. <laughs> so today was their first game. Burger, burger, um, beer. The the guy that bats lead off first uh-huh. batter of the game is his good friend. They they were buddies and so D Gordon is his name. He uh, I can't remember what position he plays. It just doesn't really matter. He, he's accuracy. A le- we're not going for right. That, he's a he's a left. This part does matter. He's a left-handed. He's a left-handed batter. Uh huh. That's how he bats. It's the only way he bats. He's not a switch hitter. He doesn't bat from both sides. He bats left-handed. For his first at bat oh, in the game. Done again. Shit. For his first at bat in the game, he goes up to bat and he bats right-handed. Uh huh. To, and they're all wearing number sixteen, and all their jerseys say sixteen Fernandez on them. Mm-hmm. He goes up there to bat like his friend, his best friend, and one of his best friends. And um, the first pitch he sees, he hits it for a home run. 
and it's his first home run of the year. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, today was and a weird. He, he, today he was walks. a weird day in sports because I mean you had the, the, the of course the two passing ways that we've been talking about. Um, it's it's Monday night football and they had the whole you know uh, the big deal with the, uh, the you know national anthem. Yeah, and they made a big deal about the national anthem tonight. Like it was like the a, whole national anthem watch thing. Yeah, the getting, whole national anthem. Uh, yeah, big. Yeah, you hit retry. No, oh, I we didn't. didn't. I hit a. I'm good. No, you hit retry. Did I? Yeah, I don't think we passed. Uh, we probably failed. But uh, yeah, they. I mean, the national. They did a big thing of the national anthem. The uh, the debates were tonight. You know, that's actually what I watched. The, I'm super sports guy. I watch everything sports. And me and my wife sit around the house, and my wa- wife watches sports too. And we sit around the house watching the debate all night. So that was another thing, and that of course, you can't do debates right now. I mean, the sports and politics are being a lot more intertwined right now. So I mean, and, and then you also but, so like oh man, yeah, work, playoff, work just had this crazy weird vibe tonight. You also the, have playoffs. The, the baseball game was on, so that was kind of happening, and you could just kind of feel it, even though you weren't like I didn't have time to really watch this stuff. You can just kind of feel like a weird mood in the air today. Yeah, I mean, between all the stuff that happened. Yeah, I mean, it was I really think weird. I burned that again. Man, you, did. you completely fucked it up. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, like I want I, I've been on the road, so I've been having to wake up at a decent time. So last Man. night I went to bed early and got up early and actually watched Sports Center and stuff today and. Um, it was a really weird vibe on Sports Center. I mean, you could tell they weren't wanting to like dwell on the passing of these two well, people. Well, I mean, you, you could tell because, with the baseball game there was definitely a, that was like right. They, right, right. the announcers were talking about tears and eyes and stuff constantly. Right. So it was all uh, that was all that was going on that way. And then you know every, I the, Arnold Palmer touched so many people's lives that there's like. Like a line, basically, of people to get through on ESPN of you know stories. I mean, he he's just been around forever. So many people owe so much to him. Um, so ESPN has been a, like a nonstop, you know, Arnold Palmer did this and that type of thing. And they really love whoa triple ricochet. They really love Jose Fernandez too. I mean, Dan Levitar. I mean, they have a video of him which. He's a ESPN personality. I do believe you are winning tonight. Oh, I'm killing you. Like, it's not even close. I, I bet you have more achievements. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing we're playing co-op. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. I well, that like, was... That I didn't... Oh, I, that's that one. Match. That's that one hole, and I didn't really ball. Where are you getting just medals for co-op anyways? <laughs> right. Um, Dan... <laughs> I'm beating... We're t- oh, no, that's the leader of our combined scores. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Um, Dan Levitar, which is an ESPN personality, um, I you to... he just completely broke down trying to talk about Jose Fernandez. Um, and it's sad, sad yeah. day in sports. All right, so uh, I think we're gonna keep playing this, maybe. Uh, yeah, but I think maybe, we're gonna maybe maybe talk about the actual game on the next episode because I I I, don't, I 